Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR Kefla, and it's coming in from Eric. But before I go ahead and read Eric's message inside the email, send me custom cards over to bhdfcustomcards.gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting some of these recent custom cards out the way. So let's see what Eric says inside the email before I go ahead and move on over to his uh, LR Kefla. So I think we read a LR Kefla like a couple of days ago or maybe like a week ago i don't remember I, i'm pretty certain we read lr kefla already though but yeah uh so eric says what's good dev i'm doing good hey i hope you're doing good yourself eric big fan here huge shout out to you i've been watching your stuff since the discord community dokkan fest exclusive tier list back in july of 2022 wow that was that was a bit of a ways ago wow okay i made that in 2022 i don't even remember doing that <laughs> Got a bit of an OG here. Uh, and been steadily keeping up ever since. Love your bad EZA slash uni review series most of all. Huge shout out to you, Eric. Much love. Showing crazy love. I really appreciate you, bro. Uh, wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. Likewise, bro. Likewise. All the love. My God. Like, it's just, just, I don't even know what to say. I'm flustered. Anyway. I stumbled across your custom car review of a potential Dokkan Fest exclusive baby, and it got me inspired to try my luck at doing my own. As uh, you may have guessed by the title, Kefla is my all-time favorite DB character, of course, Dragon Ball character, and I feel like she's often disrespected in Legends as well as Dokkan. The STR EZ Kefla was a breath of fresh air, absolutely. So I decided now's a good time as an et oh, excuse me, I'm getting. <laughs> so I decided now's a good time as any to offer up a concept on what her LR would look like. I'm sorry guys, reading's a little trash right now. I did just recently get home. Uh keep up the good work, my guy. Yo, much love, Eric. Seriously, much love. Thank you for sending your card. Like this is I love coming home, reading custom cards, and then seeing something like this. Like, this is, it's definitely like, this helps. This just like, helps with, helps with my day for sure. Like, seeing that, that's just love, man. Anyway, so, Shimmer of Hope representing Universe 6, Dokkan Fest LR Physical Kefla, base form, of course, that transforms into, I like to assume, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla? Yeah. Okay, so let me just go ahead and move my camera over to the other side. Well, my myself right over here so you guys can go ahead and see the entire card. Uh, let me scroll down so it looks good in the video. It does. It does. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? Uh, okay, so... Alright, so her leader skill. And of course, that would be her card art right over there. Should I zoom in a little bit? I should. That way you guys can see it a bit better. That looks absolutely 10 times better. Okay, so... Uh, her leader skill is Patara, Time Limit, or Super Saiyan 3 key and won 70% across the board. And her additional 30% stats slash 200% leader skill is going to be to Transformation Boost or Full Power. Editing dev, you know what to do. Show us the 200% leader skill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that the brand new LR? Was that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Is that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? I think it is. No, it's Super Saiyan Gohan. Is that the brand new broly movie lr ssj gohan Ooh, okay so we got the brand new gohan we got gogeta we got broly we got the uh, ssj trio we have who else we have the lr future gohan um there are a couple of solid options on here of course we have tech broly we have physical guy goku you could still get some use out of him no uh <laughs> yeah kefla herself because of course this is a lr Super Saiyan 2 Kefla was a transforming Kefla, but still. Uh, but anyways, let's continue on. All right, so her in her base, her super attack for her 12 key, that being the Meteor Strike, she massively stacks defense. Oh, you meant that about that disrespect inside Legends and Dokkan. She massively is stacking defense. And gaining 30% attack for one turn while doing Colossal Damage to Enemy. So, extremely strong 12 key super. And her 18 key, the Energy Cannonball, 50% attack for one turn while doing Colossal Damage to the Enemy. And lowers defense. So, she's not doing Mega Colossal Damage in her 18 key. I don't know if that's purposeful. Considering the fact that her 12 key is very strong. Massively stacking defense is crazy. Crazy strong. 
hype. Wow, okay. <laughs> so her passive. All right. So uh, ain't nobody that can stop me. <laughs> Very Kefla-esque. Okay. So 150% uh, attack and, and defense at the start of turn. And she gets an additional 110% attack and defense performing your super attack. Nice. She gets six key and a 70% chance to dodge of course, including super attacks, for four turns from the character's entry turn, and she gets a 50% chance to dodge starting from the fifth turn from this character's entry turn. Okay, so we're looking strong just out the gate with key and a 70% chance to dodge. Very strong. Looking great out the gate. And she also gets an additional 66% attack and defense and launches a guaranteed super within the same turn after evading an attack. So that should be very easy for you to get off. You dodge and you get an attack and defensive buff as well as a guaranteed super. That's that's pretty good just for off of one dodge. And she also gets an additional 66% attack and defense starting from the turn in which his character dodges as the second or third attacker in the turn. Interesting. So she gets an additional 66% attack and defense as well as a guaranteed super when she dodges. And of course, I guess that would like to that would be presumed for the first slot and if you're the second or third attacker in the turn you get the 66 percent attack and defense uh, and yeah starting from the turn in which his character dodges and attacks second or attack in a turn okay and she also has 30 percent damage reduction for four turns from start of turn and she also gets an additional 20 percent damage reduction for the first turn wow so on the first turn she's gonna have a 70 percent chance to dodge as well as 50% damage reduction on turn one. That's bananas. And then onward, uh, upwards until turn four, she's still gonna have that 70% chance to dodge. Uh, and she'll also have that 30% damage reduction. But that 70% chance to dodge and that 30% damage reduction will wear off at the same time. And you will only have that 50% chance to dodge as well as no damage reduction. But I would like to assume that she'll be able to transition over into uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla very smoothly now. And, uh, yeah, that's when there's a pure Saiyans category enemy. Ah, so she only gets that 30% damage reduction for four turns with an additional 20% damage reduction for the first turn if there's a pure Saiyans category enemy. Makes sense, because, I mean, UI Goku. And she also gets Keeper Keys are Obtained. I mean, that's something that all LR should just have, to be honest. It just makes an LR just... It just makes an LR more consistent to get to their 18 key super which that's the base goal for an lr to get to right now granted she doesn't have anything too crazy on her 18 key super it's just 50 percent attack for one turn as well as lowering defense but the important thing is that well does it really matter that she's getting a defensive buff in her 18 key super when she just massively stacks defense okay <laughs> anyways she gets an additional 20 percent attack and defense of each attack form up to 120 percent so that's just six attacks i believe I think that's six attacks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she just has to do six attacks and she just builds it up very easily. And she's also effective against all types when key is 20 or more and has a 50% chance to nullify key blast super attacks directed at this character. And she gives super class allies two key and 30% attack and defense. So one thing out the gate that I noticed that low key balance this card is the fact that this card does not have a million super attack chances built into her passive. I would absolutely say so because if you take a look at her kit she only has one guarantee super built into her and that's after she dodges within the same turn yeah because other than that she has an attack defensive buff when performing a super attack and a passive she has a 70 percent chance to dodge for four turns and a 50 percent chance to dodge from the fifth turn onward she also gets an additional attack defensive buff as well as a guarantee super when she dodges an attack within the same turn of course as well as her getting an additional 66 percent attack and defense at being an attack defensive buff sorry from the turn in which his character dodges the second or third attacker in a turn uh and she also gets damage reduction for for uh four turns that being 30 percent and an additional 20 percent for that first turn so she could be pretty she's pretty solid defensively turn one no i would probably say so especially post super hmm but of course that's locked behind the restriction of you going because a pure saiyan's enemy but the thing is that you don't have to face a pure saiyan's enemy because 
you can rely solely on that 70% chance to dodge. Now, granted, uh, you really want her to, to dodge that first attack so she gets that additional attack and defense above as well as that guarantee super, but that shouldn't be too much to ask for, right? As well as keep a key to obtain, support type unit, effective against all types, of course, with 20 more key, as well as her having a chance to nullify key blast super attacks. Um, The only thing that she is missing to make her crazy busted is multiple additional super attack chances. She only has one guarantee super built into her. Yeah, if, if Eric, if you add it, I think I believe that's what that's the name on the uh, the email. I'm sorry if I said the wrong name. If you gave this card multiple additional super attack chances, I'm not gonna lie. Multiple additional super attack chances will make this card bananas, bro. You can leave this design as is. It's because of this. This is so. This is so strong. This is so strong. It's unbelievable. That's this is easily the strongest thing on this card. And you just give her additional super attack chances, and she just go. She just goes over, over the top. But other than that, I would say, absolutely beautiful design. Because once you uh, lose that seventy percent chance to dodge, as well as that thirty percent damage reduction, you go ahead and transition on over to a fifty percent chance to dodge, and that pretty much gets you into Super Saiyan Two Kefla. Yeah, because she transforms star from the sixth turn from start of battle. Um. So let's go ahead and take a look at Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. I'm, I'm excited to see what we're looking at. Okay, so her new uh, super attack for her 12 key, that being the Mighty Kick, she gets 50% attack and defense for one turn. Good. And she does mega colossal damage with a 70% chance to stun. Wow. So of course, a 70% chance to stun is nice. Granted, you can stun the specific enemy who could be stunned. Uh, as well as 50% attack and defense, and Mega Colossal on a 12 key super. All right, now, and then her 18 key super attack, that being the super cannonball, she gets 30% attack and defense for three turns while doing Mega Colossal damage to the enemy and sealing their super attack. So she has two types of debuffs in both of her super attack effects, that being a 70% chance to stun, as well as a guarantee seal. Uh, while wow, her also getting an attack defense above multiple turns as well as 50 percent attack defense one turn to 12 key great super attack effects great 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 across the board so i see okay maybe this card only having colossal damage in both of her super attack effects for her base form makes sense then i guess i guess it makes sense then i guess it's part of the design because she gets mega colossal fucking damage in her post transformation crazy bro absolutely crazy so uh her passive we're gonna, just gonna assume that her passive just busted her passive thirst for growing beyond enemy limits she gets guaranteed dodge for one turn after transforming crazy I, what, do you, what do you want me to say <laughs> busted uh, as well as her getting 300% attack and defense to start turn. Okay. She also gets 6 key and launches a guarantee super. As well as a 50% chance of launching an additional super as he first or second attacker in a turn. So it's a guarantee super. As well as a 50% a chance of launching an additional super as a first or second attacker in a turn. Oh. Alright. Just add a, say it again for the people in the back because that's, that's very good. Um. <laughs> Shit. Considering that she does Mega Colossal in both of her super attack picks, especially in her 12 key, it's crazy. Just gonna throw it out there. And she also gets an additional 160% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Great, considering the fact that she gets an attack and defense buff from her passive to her super attack effects. I mean, guys, class, why is that so good? Because it helps the character tank better, right? And, and also helps him hit harder, um, considering that this character also gets, I mean, it's an attack and defense buff, I had said, so... Proofs in the pudding. I. <laughs> it's pretty much there. So, and she also gets two key up to six. And she also gets a chance of performing a crit and a chance of dodging up to 66%. Starting at 22%. So, you get, so she can build up a 22% chance to crit and dodge. No, excuse me. Up to 66%. She can build up to a 66% chance to dodge and crit as well as six key. Very nice, I mean. <laughs> and... Just to point out, um, she can build up six key as well as her starting out with already six key as the first second attack in a turn. You're absolutely putting her inside that first slot so you can just abuse that guaranteed dodge for one turn. Um, and she also, what else? Wait, hold on. 
well, yeah, she builds up that key uh, attack. It's not key and attack. Key, crit chance, and dodge uh, with each attack received or dodged. So that's three attacks she has to dodge. She can get that within the first turn of her transforming. Beautiful design, bro. And she gets unrestricted 33% damage for type. Okay. And she gets an additional 60% damage reduction up to 30% for each attack received or dodged. Within the same turn, let's put that on there. Okay. All right. So she also is effective against all types as the first second attacker in the turn. Obviously great. And she gets one key and 40% attack and defense up to 200% with each attack performed. Bro, she's going to be doing ridiculous damage as well as being a crazy defensive unit. This is a ridiculous two-way unit. And when I say two-way, I mean crazy uh, two ways as an offense and defensively. And we're not even a reading the fucking card. And she gets an additional 66% attack and defense and performs a guaranteed crit when key is 20 or higher. <laughs> Let's say that you're below 20 key, you're a feather against all types. Let's say you're 20 key and above, you get a guaranteed crit. Okay. As well as an additional attack and defense above. And she's also a rainbow orb changer that gets an additional 1 key and 66% attack and defense per key spear obtained! What? 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 Eric! I, I, I'm sorry if I'm saying the wrong name. I'm pretty sure it's you. What? Bro, that's unrestricted! One key and 66% attack and even for keys were obtained! What? What character is nuking like this? And she also gets an additional... Oh, I, I woke up my dog. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Jojo. I woke up my dog screaming. Uh, <laughs> she also gets an additional 160% defense with three or more keys was obtained. So she just gets more and more tanky. And she gets an additional 6% attack and defense per keys were obtained when there is a pure science category enemy. And she gives super class allies three key and 60% attack and defense. So, guys, take into account that she is doing things for the team while being a crazy two-way unit. <laughs> like, bro. Okay. So, what she's doing for the team is giving... Granted, you're a superclass ally. She's giving superclass allies three key and 60% attack and defense. As well as creating rainbow orbs for them. To help the rotations be smooth and uh, seamless. Um, And on the defensive end, I mean, guys. First turn, she has guaranteed dodge. And she also builds up dodge chance, that being with her just only having to dodge three attacks up to 66%. So after you get out of that turn of her guaranteed dodge, she has a 66% chance to dodge, as well as unrestricted 33% damage reduction. Okay. And not only that, but she also built up damage reduction within the same turn with each attack received slash dodge up to 30%. So within the same turn... Granted, she's taking a lot of attacks slash dodging a lot of attacks. She can build up an additional 30% damage reduction within that same turn to be at 63% damage reduction. So in the right scenario, she can have a 66% chance to dodge as well as 63% damage reduction within the same turn, of course. Um, I, I, what do I even say? And then on the offensive end, do we really want to talk about the offensive end? <laughs> Uh, guarantee super with a chance of uh, doing another super, that being a 50% chance of launching additional super. Uh, so that's two supers just right there. One being guaranteed, one being a chance. She also has a feather against all types built into her. She builds up attack and defense very, very easily each attack performed. She also has a feather against all types, guaranteed crits built into her. She can get one key and 66% attack and defense for keys are obtained. What? 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 What is that nuking ability? Oh, and then just sprinkle on the fact that you get her key spheres, she gets rewarded. It's not that she's already getting rewarded for the fact that she's creating rainbow orbs and nuking, but do keep in mind she's getting an additional 160% defense, as well as, you. let's say you're facing a pure Saiyans category enemy, additional 6% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. So, add that 6% attack and defense per key sphere obtained on top of that already one key and six per 66 attack defense where keys are obtained um guys uh is she unkillable like 
is this card like in the right scenario let's say fuck it this card's gonna be always in the right scenario is this card just a flat out unkillable like this card is this design is like damn near seamless like just perfect this is like damn near perfect design what is this card missing it's like this card has this card has enough stats to support itself like 300 percent attack and defense at the start of turn 160 percent attack and defense performing a super attack she also has what else she builds up what's that one key and 40 percent attack and defense up to 200 percent attack and defense each attack performed she gets uh, what's that? 66% attack and defense, as well as a guaranteed crit when key is 20 or or higher. She also gets one key and 66% attack and defense for keys are obtained. She also gets 160% defense with three or more keys to obtain. And if you're facing the right enemy, provide it. She also gets an additional 60% attack and defense per keys to obtain. So add that onto her already one key and 66% attack and defense per keys to obtained. And that is what? That's 72 percent attack and defense per keys rifting like what and not to mention her support type up counts against her it's like it counts well excuse me not against her but towards her because it does they exclude it because she's getting additional three key and 60 percent attack and defense make it make sense <laughs> as well sir with the right condition of course she'll have 63% damage reduction within the same turn of course because it's stacking on top of each other as well as a 66 percent chance to dodge and crit and is she gonna struggle for a key hell no she's not gonna struggle for a key because she already starts out with six key as the first attack in a turn and she builds up to six key plus just from her taking attacks and dodging and we're already at 12 key right because she's already getting 12 key right there and what else what else she also gets <laughs> she also builds up one key with each attack performed so she's building up key while she's performing attacks she also gets an additional she technically gets key per keys for obtained because she's getting one key and six percent attack and defense per keys for obtained um and she add that to the fact that she's creating rainbow orbs like <laughs> what hello do we do we understand this do, is this card this card is low-key unkillable and then I did I mention that she's doing mega colossal damage on both her super attack effects while getting a multi-turn attack and defensive buff as well as sealing and also having a 70% chance to stun and 50% attack and defense one turn on her 12 key. We're done talking here. Cards busted. I would say I I, I love the design. Only thing that the base form is missing and doesn't need now that I'm thinking about it is more additional super attacks. Do not that will make this card over the top busted. I take it back, don't give it to her cards <laughs> this card's unkillable low key low key could this card die inside the base form hold on dev say it do not spray it i'm sorry could this card die inside the base form possibly possibly yes if she doesn't dodge uh post transformation no i see no way in hell that this card dies inside this post transformation i don't see it i just don't with everything i just listed off there's no there, there's no way and there's no stats over here to for all my stat junkies of course um yeah there's no stats hope <laughs> um uh i'm pretty sure yeah, eric my brother if you were to give this card stats please comment down below what the stats would be or if if i said you're the, the wrong name i'm sorry send the custom cards over to bhf custom cards at gmail.com so i can get to your custom card as soon as possible while i'm getting all of these recent cards out the way i'm getting good at that um join the 24 7 discord server link is down below in the description below, below excuse me um i'm just i'm kerpunkled okay crazy ass word <laughs> i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next video and i absolutely love you all you guys are the greatest and i hope you have a great rest of your day Peace.